Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Asari Kimani. Welcome back to yet another workout routine. I'm out here in Portland, Oregon, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the top five dip exercises from beginner to intermediate. Let's get it. Alright guys, so before we start on today's workout, if you're new to the channel at all, be sure to check out my home workout series and the calisthenics transformation, 60 day transformation. And without further ado, let's get started on today's workout. Alright guys, so if you guys are ready, let's get on the dip bar. Here we have the parallel bar right over here. Get on it, make sure your hands are on top of the bar, your glutes are tight, and you're flexing your core. So the first one that we have is the isometric dips. Isometrics, if you're new to this, it's pretty much the contraction of a particular muscle group. And in this case, it's your tricep and your pecs. So you're gonna go down like you would do a normal dip. You're gonna hold it for eight to 10 seconds. And then you can go back up. Yeah, besides some of the benefits, the obvious of increasing strength and size plus endurance, my biggest pro in this one is the muscle activation. Pretty much meaning the more muscle activation you have, the more strength you will gain and the muscle you can use. Let's go again. Let's go for three more reps. Let's go. Making sure that you come all the way up with a full range of motion is equally as important. One more, let's go. All right, so that was the isometric dips. Let's move on to intermediate level. All right guys, so stepping out from the isometric dips, here we have the weighted vest. I'm gonna do the weighted dip in just a few moments. So let's go on the parallel bar. All right, so one of the biggest pros for me from using any resistance, any weights for resistance, it's gonna be overcoming your plateau, defeating your limits. Let's get it. We're gonna go down full range of motion like you would do a dip. Let's go. Make sure your glutes are tight, your core is tight, in a full range of motion. Breathe. Let's go. Two. Notice how every time I come up, my body is in a straight line. You should be doing the same. Let's go for one more. All right, guys, that was the way to dip. Let's move on to the second exercise. All right guys, so with the second dip exercise for beginner one, we can do the front dip. Basically, get on one parallel bar here, jump into it, all right? Make sure it's shoulder width, and you wanna go down with full range motion, making sure the parallel bar is touching your upper chest. Go up. Now, this is a great progression for the muscle up, and it's also a great workout for lower chest activation. Let's go for 10 times. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Let's move on to the intermediate level. All right guys, so moving on to the intermediate level for this one, we can use the parallel bar yet again, but we can do the archer dip. Pretty much get into it like you do a front dip, spread it a little wider apart, right? So this is a great progression for one arm push-ups, and it's also a great exercise to do for sleep, targeting your muscle isolation. So let's get it, ready? One. Move on to the third exercise. All right guys, so with the third exercise for beginner level, we're gonna be doing the explosive dip. Pretty much, it's gonna be the same thing as regular dip, however this time, you can be using your fast muscle fiber to be explosive and be as fast as much as possible going up, right? So let's get into it. Three. All right, 
So if you're looking for a fast dynamic movement, this is one of the best ones you can do and it pretty much carries a skill set for explosive push-up, explosive pull-up, so let's get into it for the next exercise. Alright guys, so moving on to the intermediate level of the third exercise, we're going to be doing the Russian dip. And I gotta admit, it's a bit over flex, but it also shows a great progression for the impossible dip, which is in, in the advanced level. So let's get started. Basically, go on the parallel bar like you do a normal dip, and then slightly shift your weight to the side and to the back. In this case, you'll be flexing your core again, and slightly pull it in again, go up. Now, let's do it one more time. Shift your weight to the back, make sure your elbows are on the parallel bar, Shift your weight back, forward, go up, that's two. Let's go for three more. While doing all this, make sure your body is in a tight alignment, straight line. Again guys, if you ever want to master the impossible dip, this is a great progression leading forward to it. So without further ado, let's get started on the fourth exercise. Alright guys, so with the next fourth dip exercise for beginner, we're going to be doing the eccentric dip. Let's get on to the parallel bar yet again. So why the dip is so important, especially eccentric, is because this is when your muscle tears up, gives it a chance to recover, and then come back stronger and bigger. So let's get started. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to go down slowly. Let's go for the count of... 68. And then you're going to go up like you normally would, right? So you're pretty much deloading your weight as you go down slowly. And then come back up. Let's go for one more rep. Alright guys, so that was a beginner exercise for the eccentric dip. Let's get on to the intermediate level. Alright guys, so moving on from the eccentric fourth exercise, the intermediate level for this one we're going to be doing is the Korean dip. Now, the Korean dip requires a lot of strength, but the benefits of it is gaining a lot of mobility and flexibility. So let me show you how it's done. Simply go on a parallel bar. Now, it can be a little bit scary, but keep it practice. All right. Shoulder width apart. Yeah. Go down. Now, you want to arch your back while going down, right? So give that space, arch it back, go back up, one. Now this is great for lower chest activation. Also, it's gonna be useful for your mobility. Let's go. Two. Three. Alright guys, that was Korean dips. Let's move on to the last dip exercise. Alright guys, now that we have the last two exercises left, the first one for beginner we're gonna be doing is a dip walk. Simply get on a parallel bar like you would. A longer one is best. Now this works greatly on enhancing your straight arm strength and that we carry on to other skill sets like planche, front lever. Just walk forward. While keeping your hands straight as much as possible. Simply walk. When you get on the other side, simply walk back. Make sure your arms are straight, body in the straight line, core is tight. Let's go. Alright guys, so that was the dip walk. Let's move on to the last exercise. Alright guys, so coming into the top five list here, the last intermediate level exercise for dip is going to be the dip and then to the L sit. Pretty much, you're gonna be dipping down and simply do L sit, hold for a half a second, go back down. Alright guys, that's a wrap between the top five dip exercises from beginning to intermediate level. 
again, thank you for watching. My name is Asari Kimani. That's my cameraman, Diego Navas. Again, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.